is Engineer775. Sorry I haven't posted a video in a while, just been busy working. A lot of times I show you the end product of what I'm doing. I thought I'd just do a quick video of some of the things that go into some of my uh, water systems. Obviously uh, I like to pump up to these thousand gallon tanks or thousand and fifty and uh, just starting to load up for this job in uh, North Carolina and putting my tools together. I'm putting in a Submersible pump, solar, a simple pump, hand pump, and that's my cow saying good morning over there to me. But uh, anyway, and then we're going to put in a booster pump. So these things come in a variety of different ways. and Just, uh, again, you always see the finished product, but uh, there's controllers, and there's the pump, and all the fittings, and boxes, and float switches. And then I'm just pulling everything together that I'll take with me, tool-wise, and um, wire, and plumbing fittings, and batteries, pressure tanks, and so it all comes into the shop and is a seemingly a chaotic mess, but uh, <laughs> filters and, and a lot of plumbing parts, and uh, what I'm working on today, what I try to do before I go to the site is pre-build the booster pumps and I really like these 24 volt uh, Dankoff flow lights kind of becoming my favorite and I, I do more and more systems I kind of uh, keep learning keep tweaking find the optimum way to run these to fuse them to protect them I'll just show you the latest little gadget that I, I like this little surge arrester that I'm adding to the system this time and what happens if there's a high voltage for a local lightning strike or whatever that the power will be diverted from from the the positive and negative feeds to the ground and so it's important that the systems are grounded I ground um, I put two grounds in on these typically and then my little battery charge controller which again see the 24 it's 24 volt 24 volt booster pump 15 amps and so I just kind of put all these together and pre 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 build them so when I get to the site it saves me a lot of time and a lot of times uh, customers wanted to talk prepping <laughs> and I get distracted wanting to answer questions so I like to do the hard stuff here at the shop when nobody's um, asking questions and I can make sure that I've got uh, this thing together right because there are about eight yeah there's eight wires running down to the battery. There's battery sensing wires, there's the solar charging circuit, there's a lot to it. And uh, so I'm just going to finish it up here um, and then load up the truck and off we go. So I'm going to include a little one line drawing of what in the world I'm talking about here. So a lot of people are, it, it is hard to follow some of my projects just because of the amount of time in a YouTube video. So. Um, I will do a one line drawing, kind of show you what I'm up to, and that's it. So, time to load the truck, get this job going down the road, and, uh, and a lot of times my projects are in remote locations, so I will make sure that I have everything and more than enough uh, so I don't have to run to a store. And some of this stuff is specialty items, stuff you won't get at Lowe's or Home Depot or local hardware store. So, okay, that's it. Engineer 775, signing out from the shop.